Happy Friday, sports fans. This evening is dedicated to the best local high school teams going head-to-head -head for some postseason action. And folks, this upcoming game and a couple of the other ones didn't disappoint. So let's get right to it. Here we go. We got a tough matchup middle of the second quarter. Panthers already up 20 to zip against Atlanta in purple and white move. John Lamoth keeps the Brock for eight yards. And then on third and 12th, Jonah Bailey tries to connect with Joey Boyk. And Cody Reeves gets the interception, but Atlanta runs it up the gut. Reese Wood earns three yards, but the drive stalls. And then Pickford on the third and one. Jimmy Story weaves his way through the defense. He has some blockers. He makes it to the end zone for the score. More Panthers. Bailey drops back and then finds the direction of Nick Eddington. But it's Boyd there for the catch and the touchdown. 30 seconds left in the half. Atlanta showing some light, but Devin Davis turns on the Jets and makes it down to midfield. However, tonight, belong to... Pickford and they won big 42 to nothing and that's just the first half of our action tonight for the fifth down in this next back we kicked it off to two local teams squaring off in Og Gray Sims and one squad was making the playoffs just making the playoffs was a hurdle the Hillman Tigers had the chance to pull off an upset and knock off an undefeated team it's Og Gray welcoming Hillman for the Tigers last 11 man season to the second quarter, like a blink of an eye, Ryan Schwerson puts the first points on the board for the Wolverines. It's 6 to 0, but later on in the second, Gain Zionine trying to make things happen and trying to make this a double digit lead. But that's picked off by Hillman. Huge change of momentum. Oh boy, trying to close out the half on a good note. Good news for the Tigers because they have Billy Kokan, and he will tie this game up 6 to 6. Hillman goes into the half leading. Folks, this is a barn burn later on in the game, still in the, in the third quarter. Hillman's Kyler Moyer drops back and fires one out to Matthew Hunt. He bobbles it, but he's able to come up with a big time catch. And that may have saved Hillman's chances. One more look at this in slow motion. Folks, you gotta check this out. Matthew Hunt, you are the man with <laughs> laser-like eyes. I don't know how you do it. Unbelievable catch, because this just sets up Hillman in the end zone. Moyer searching, and he locates Billy Culkin, Hillman, on the board again. They're going to take a 15-6 lead late in the third, and that's Coach Bill Koenig's squad, and that's all they needed. The Cinderella shoe fits in Hillman. Tigers outlast the Wolverines to win 15-6. Hillman will play Alcona next Friday. And so here's the next game on deck. It's Oscoda at Breckenridge in a playoff clash. The Owls have had their second playoff appearance, but didn't get the result they were hoping for. The Huskies defeat the Owls 33-7. Oscoda started the game well, scoring on their opening drive, and things were looking even. Oscoda did trail 14-7 at half, but Oscoda's head coach Mark Whitney exclaimed, Brickenridge played a better game, and he couldn't be more proud of his team and his seniors. On paper, Oscoda had a great season. The team just lost to two playoff teams this year. Head coach Mark Whitney also said his team's going to hit the weight room and believes they will be right back. Oscoda is still searching for that first playoff win since 2000. Joe Bird versus Alcona. At Alcona High School, this one's a good one. First quarter on the goal line, Alex Stevenson taking the – oh, wait, that's not him. Cameraman gets faked out. Jack Hutchison scores the first touchdown of the game. Later on in the first, Tigers lead 8-0, and Joe Berg responds in a big way. Schimmel passes out to Timmy LaPointe. Oh, touchdown. Alcona still leads 8-6 to, to the second quarter. Still a close game cards. Running the QB sneak. That always works. Schimmel. He makes it good, trucks his way in. Joburg leads 12 to eight, but Alcona would make the big play in the end. Alex Stevenson in the pocket, finding Tim Hutchinson wide open. Hutchinson bearing down the field to put Alcona back up on top. So, so, so it's a two point game, folks, still very close. Hutchinson, you know, these boys have played so well throughout the season, but this was a crucial play. Hutchison takes a handoff. Looks like he's going to be doing great, but the ball pops loose from the Ruski. The ball is definitely out, folks. This was a big play, so let's re-look at this one. Slow motion. Ball is definitely out. So what's the call going to be? Referees awarded to Alcona. And this time, they're not going to let that mental air mess up their game. Alex Stevenson on the QB sneak. 
How about you do it for your team, big fella? Spins his way into the end zone. Alcona, I told you guys, this was a close game. Alcona holds off Joannisburg to win 28 to 12.